Well, hi there, this is DB Team, and already it's that time again. It's time for another weekly showcase of something about Karen Took. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to pronounce it a little better because last time people were grilling me that I'm pronouncing it wrong. Karen Took. All right, Karen Took. We're gonna we're gonna go with that. As you can see by the title, we're not looking at a monster today. We're looking at a weapon, or rather, a mechanic in the game, the chainsaw. Now, you know how it works, basically, there's a small monster, you use the chainsaw, you spend one pep, and you get ammunition, right? So that's not exactly all that different uh, than how it is in Doom Eternal. You can see also that my fuel is going to be slowly filling up. The time that it's going to take for that first pip to, full, uh, to fill up, it's, it's still to be balanced, you know? It, the, the, the speed at which it fills in Doom Eternal, it doesn't quite work in Doom 2 because of the amount of monsters and everything. So I'm working on the balance on that, so don't worry about how long it takes. I'm just going to cheat to get myself, give myself some fuel. Where this thing is a little bit different is how it interacts with bigger monsters. So, for example, you know this guy, the Aragnotron. And in Doom Eternal, it takes three fuel pips in order to kill it. But if I try to do it, even though I have the three, three pips, it's not going to work. You can see that it's going to tell me that I don't have enough ammunition for it. Whatever. The message is not important. The point is that you're not able to execute it like that. And the reason for that is because, because each one of the pips in the chainsaw basically represents 200 health that it can destroy from a monster. So if a monster has more than 200 health by 3, meaning the 3 pips, uh, if he has on, over 600 health, you cannot execute it. And that's the case for the Arachnodron. If we look at its information, you can see that the monster has 650 health. So that's why I cannot kill it. However, that also means that if I weaken the monster enough, for example, now he has 490, I can use the chainsaw to kill it. Now, uh, th this might seem a little complicated at first, but trust me, it plays really, really well, because what this means is that unlike in Doom Eternal, you can always use the chainsaw on a, whatever enemy so long as it's weak enough. In Doom Eternal, for example, if you have a, an Arachnotron and you have him all super, super weak, all destroyed, and he's on stagger, and you try to use the chainsaw, you will still use the three pips. And if you only have two pips, you're screwed. You cannot use it at all at any moment. And in this game, for example, if I weaken the guy enough, if I live in on stagger, any monster that is on a stagger, meaning when he's orange like this, he has under 200 health. So I use the chainsaw and only uses one pip. So basically, it's a relatively dynamic system on how the chainsaw is going to work and how is it going to be able to execute enemies. In Doom Eternal, it can be a little problematic when you don't have, let's say you have two pips and you need really bad some ammunition and there's only an Arachnotron. There's absolutely no way you're going to be able to kill it with just two pips. In this game, however, so long as you have him weak enough, you will be able to do that. And that, of course, is not only for the Arachnotron. Any monster uh, that has over 600 health, you cannot use the chainsaw to kill it, no matter what. But uh, by the same token, any monster that is under the appropriate amount of health, you will be able to execute it with the chainsaw just based on how much health he has. Um, so yeah, like I said, this sounds like it might be a little complex, but in gameplay, it really plays so much better, because for the most part, you're not going to be using the chainsaw just to execute this big, big Arachnotron. You have enough ammunition to deal with Arachnotrons, with any monster, really. But you're going to be using the chainsaw just as a last resort to fill up your ammunition bag. So this this place is different for anybody that has played Dead for Toll, my you know Doom 2016 mod that, I, that we made, Michael and myself, uh, some time ago. It's basically the same system, only that over here you're really limited to only three fuel pips. It never gets any any higher than that. So it plays really interesting. It makes it play a little different. It's familiar to that of Doom Eternal, but not quite the same. And honestly, I really wish they added something like this because I hate in Doom Eternal having a weakened Arachnotron and still not being able to execute it with the chainsaw because I'm one pip short of the three. So, all right, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, I hope you're liking this content. Let me know in the comments if you want to see some more, but please don't ask me to show you the Marauder or, or the, the Tyrant, things like that, because that's not ready yet. But yeah, I'm, I, there's still many more things that I want to show you about this mod, even from things that you've only seen on the, on the teaser. So there's a lot to talk about. But again, let me know in the comments if you're enjoying this type of content. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel because reasons. And yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care, everybody.